So this is a kind of a weird house, I know. Let me turn on the roof. The just the so let me turn off the trusses just for a second. Okay. So that's the general shape of the roof, right? What about you? So what I'm trying to decide is whether I'm going to truss it or stick build it. I'd like to truss it, but I was going to show you a condition you probably already guessed what I'm going to ask you. Let's see, trusses. So I'm not trying to be a truss. This is just a, an extension I have uh -huh. for making trusses. So it's just, and it may just be graphic. You know, I don't know how close it would be. So I'm not trying to draw the actual truss, just the shape. I got you. I got you. I'm so fine. this would be... On this end, I'll ask the easy question first. What I need is a place up here to put a heat and air unit. So I didn't know if they would come off like this with a web, you know, for that 45 degree angle, and I'd, and I'd have a little place down here. Yeah. Uh, but what I thought I would do is I'd send you one of the, you know, send you a drawing with just this truss on it. Yeah. Just that shape, and then you can check on it for me. You know, if you can send me that shape, what I'll do is have them plug it in their system, shoot it back to me, and I can fire it to you and let you look at it. And I'll put just, dimensions on it and everything. I'll tell you how the web is, webbing and everything is. Yeah, just height, uh, length, wall to wall, don't include the overhang. Right, I'll just and do this. Overhang length, uh, and then we should be good to go. Yeah, I'll put the two pitches. This is a six, and this is a, a two and a half or something. I'll, I'll figure okay. out. I had to play with the pitches a little bit, oops, because... Uh, of this condition right here where it, where it almost meets. Yep. But the other condition, um, this is why I'm thinking about sticking it, stick building it. And here, just to let you know, I have a load bearing point already in the basement, in the ground under the <coughs> lab right okay. here that I can put a post on and go all the way down to the ground and okay. put LVL across here and just stick build it. But yeah. I'd rather use trusses and the owner's already agreed to let me to put a flat ceiling in it so it doesn't have to be vaulted. I got you. Because I had a problem, you know, trying to serve the upstairs with heat and air. Yeah. So what I was thinking about doing was um, either doing, there was two ideas. One was having like a girder truss put here uh, where I've got the two doubles. Uh-huh. And then, uh, actually, I don't show it the way I was, my idea was, I don't, I didn't think you could hang these trusses off of even though this, I know they can't put the load bearing point right here, or maybe they can, but I don't know if you can hang hang it off the truss where it's progressively getting, you know, where the pitch is changing like that. You can, you can. You can, okay. Cause yeah, they, cause these are not great big trusses. Now, if you get into 50 and 60 footers, and as that as you go down that rake, yeah, it, it, it can get hairy. But this right here, these are short spans. Yeah, this is only uh, 14 feet this way. Yeah. And, and that, that wall right there is load bearing, that garage wall. Yeah, all this one is. I mean, feasibly, one. feasibly, you can can lever that truss out to meet that girder truss, and, see, and it's not going to on load. And webbing on this end doesn't matter. I just need kind of from down here down. I need to be have like an attic, like not an attic. I mean, it would be you kind mean, of cool if they could make some kind of attic truss. My, well, they could they could probably web that dude in there to keep it open in there, like with a you know with a trapezoid. Uh, uh. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, if, if when you shoot me that, I'll just make notes on what you shoot me that we're trying to get a, a air handle needed up there and, and flex duct. So what I'll do is I'll send you. I guess I have three different kinds of trusses, right? I got this one. Yeah. I got this one, and then I got these little ones. Actually, I have four trusses, don't I? I have yep. these little short ones down. What happened to my... I had a... That's weird. What happened to my... Anyway, I had a I had a little two before right here on the end of that truss. See right here? Yep. I must have accidentally deleted it. But anyway, or there's a layer turned off or something. But uh, I'll fix that. But I'll uh, okay. I'll just put it on a drawing so they don't have to look at this. I, don't, I, I guess they don't want to get a, a 3D CAD drawing. Uh, you know what? It doesn't hurt to send it to me because it, a lot of times when you just send them profiles, they can't wrap their head around that. Well, that's why I wanted to show it to you because it's hard. Exactly. And I, you know, I think it's awesome. I think yeah. that, you know, uh, I love, love to do more like this with you because it eliminates so much guesswork. Well, I know you can't pay for this kind of stuff, but I do do this stuff. Uh, I, that's that's the other part of my business is you know drafting. I have atdrafting.com. 
Okay. And I get calls from people all over the country to help them with stuff like this. Well, I'm not going to take your business some minutes your way. But um, I'm not trying to, you know, raise business. I'm just letting you know if you ever need any help or anything like that. Not, this go. guy, this the guy who I get this trust extension from, his name is Nathan Wilkerson. He he, he created this uh, roof trust. Uh, wow. He, he, there's actually engineering. If you go to his website, Medique Trust, he actually has the pages and pages of engineering behind the the logic behind them so there's a, it's not just some architect drawing web you know it's uh, a good the trust industry guy that's just come yeah, up with he, it. he knows what he's doing so yeah. this trust is probably i've literally sent like uh i've gotten trust designs back from like hawassi or somebody yeah and they look exactly like what he's done yeah. so anyway i i was actually took the webs out of this one because I didn't want to. I wanted. To, I was going to get a biggest, a big space as I could. You know what's funny is I wouldn't even care if they just. Uh, you know what's funny is my other option down here was just going to say if they could just, even if it was a two by eight rafter and a two by four, I would just overlay. I'd set this girder underneath those and I'd just cut them off each one and let them sit on top of it. You know? Yeah. But however. You know, I think that's why, because it would be easy to move this, this whatever this truss, this girder truss over underneath that wall and do it that way, but instead of hanging it off of them, you know. Right. But whatever you... I think they'd rather hang it in the bottom, but I, I don't know. I mean, let, oh, let's get... Fine. Yeah, because I've got, I'm showing like a two by six bottom cord on these. Yeah. Uh, and it'll probably be easy to do, but anyway... <laughs> Keeping that open part in that in that main section, that's what we're after. Yeah. And that and if I can get uh if I can get my heat and air unit up here, which I'm pretty sure I will be able to, then I, I'll just trust this thing and I won't I won't spend time with stick building it. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we might, I think we line the chases up on the floor trusses too, so you can put it down there. Oh yeah, I got the the downstairs is easy since y'all got those lined up. I got this uh where's my first floor plan? I got to turn the trusses off. I got this. Um, okay. Like, yeah, it's not. I'm not showing the cut, but there's a door right here. Yeah. I can, I can just get up in between one of those trusses and go over to that chase, and then I'll have it made. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. So I got the downstairs licked, you know. But okay. the, this upstairs has been giving me. I had. What's funny is. Um, where's my working view? Dang it. I have all these views set up, front elevation, let's just do this one. Um, I had all this, before I thought about these trusses, I had big old LVLs going up here all the way, and I got, I actually have footings in the basement underground that I've poured under the slab that I, so in case I had to have post. I got you. And we did this on one house, we, we clear span, I think we used two 24 inch LVLs, and we did like 28 feet with it, I think. Maybe, yeah. maybe it was like 26 feet, but whatever it was that, uh, blue link said, you know, I just called them or whatever. Uh, but, um, sometimes I don't, I don't bother y'all with this stuff. I just, you know, uh, just call blue links or whatever, but I didn't realize I didn't, I keep forgetting you're knowledgeable. You've worked in this stuff. So yeah, I, I did about 20 years of industry. So. Yeah. So. What I'll do is I can send, uh, I can turn the gutters off now. It's funny. Uh, but, uh, I can strip some of this stuff out. As a matter of fact, I can, if you think it would make it easier instead of getting all this other garbage, cause I got all these layers and crap. I can, I can just send them the actual trusses unless you want me to send the whole. Send you know, I, would say, I, I think the more I give them up there, where the, these guys I buy from, the better. That's the old. That's the old design over there. I'll clean. What I'll do is I'll clean the drawing up because there's a bunch of garbage. I've gone through two or three different designs, and I'll take out all this site stuff. Okay. All this grade and driveway and junk. They don't. They ain't gonna want to see. Because I'm afraid the drawing will be too big to email if I don't strip some of it. I, I got you. Okay. Okay. And I'll just yeah. send it. I'll just send it to you. Do that, and I'll forward it up. Ah, thanks, Todd. I appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Todd. Yep. Uh, thanks. See it. All right. Well, the the meat server 
artisan meats came through again baby this is my online server uh, video conferencing server that uh, actually a friend of mine Mike helped set up we just call it artisan meats just for the lack of a better term and so it's come in handy since the whole COVID thing it really has and I actually set it up coincidentally before that for tutoring SketchUp tutoring and some other stuff other projects I'm trying to get going um, and it come in, came in handy and so what I'll do is I'm going to clean this up this drawing has really gotten corrupted with a bunch of junk on it. I think I'm going to have them drop uh, drop this truss so we can do our outriggers, outlooks, barge hangers. I think I'm just going to send it to them the way it is. Excuse me, I just had a peanut butter banana and some burpee. I think I'm just going to send it to them like this because there may be something else that changes and I would want to do all the changes at the same time. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, I just thought that would be a neat video to share uh, on how we uh, meet sometimes with our consultants and um, how we kind of work through. This This will go, this is the actual house that we're using as a, a study guide for our Artisan School of Construction and um, it's it's you know I'm building this video series and we'll put this in as an example of how to work with your consultants uh, on these kind of issues working through them uh, so once again thanks a lot guys and if you have any comments or questions just put them in the comment section below thanks